man. Once again, once again, mm. once again, ladies and gentlemen, power to the people, back to do maintenance. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, we're going to rock like crack when it came in. Mm. It's me, it's me, it's Podcast P, and we got you stuck off the realness. Yeah, yeah, we be the infamous, you heard of us. Real Manchester murderers, as we are Come here, man. live, in living colour, in the flesh room, my good guy, the guy who gave you the look. The verse and even the hook, that's why every pod sounds like Kept featuring Kept mm. here in NQ House in Manchester for a very special edition of the Two Stubborn Nigerians podcast. Um, a bonus edition where we'll be reviewing an album which came out um, in September of this year, yeah. Um, September 14th, so a little while ago from the time that this video or uh, this podcast um, will come out. Um, but one that we felt was important and something that we needed to talk about because it's about it's a project from an artist who has really dominated the past 12 months. Yeah. I think is, is very easy to say um, world over UK, mm -hmm. US, um, the continent of Africa and obviously her native Nigeria and that is Thames, um, Thames Baby, um, mm. Thames' newest project. If Orange was a place. Man, break it down, break it down. If man. Orange was a place. Why Orange? Why Orange? Ooh! Mm. What color is the sunset? Mm, it's orange. -ish. What color is the sunrise? Orange. I'm going to wake up that yeah, wake up that early. Yeah, you're sleeping yet. <laughs> but um, if orange was a place by Thames, this is. Did you know this was coming? No, no idea. I didn't either. But I think if you did, I can only imagine this would have been one of the more highly anticipated projects. Because you're looking at Thames as someone who very literally has dominated 12 months. Yeah. Like, yeah, for since. Real. Even from before this moment, mm -hmm. but from, since the time she said only you can touch my body. Man, man, man. It's really been quiet for a long time. That was that was the moment where I felt like she leapt yeah. into real superstar. Yeah, no, definitely. And coming off um, her last album before that for Broken Ears in 2020, which got really great reviews, really great reviews. Other than from you, who said that the best thing about the worst thing that she did was put free mind on that album because yeah. you're a hater. Um, <laughs> but for most other people, for Broken Ears got really great reviews. And so she's got that. Mm -hmm. She's got Essence. Mm -hmm. It's on a Drake album. Mm -hmm. And now she comes. Yeah. In and amongst all of that, she's meeting this person and mm -hmm. that person. Mm -hmm. Snaps with Thames and Rihanna. Yep. Snaps with Thames just looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. Snaps with Thames on stage. Mm -hmm. She's got her foot on my neck. <laughs> Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. like right now, mm -hmm. it's there. I yeah, can yeah, see yeah. it. The way, the, world, like, the way the world is killing me. Mm. <laughs> I wish we could change these lights to orange right now, man. That's crazy. That would be dumb. That would be so sick. That would be so sick. Every time I say orange, it's just <laughs> <laughs> um, But she drops. Mm. And it's out. It comes in at five songs, 18 minutes and 13 seconds. A very light pack, a very short pack. A simple get in, get out vibe. Yes. So what do you think? It's been out for well over a month now, mm -hmm. and um, we both listened to it, I'm assuming when it came out. Mm -hmm. We've both been able to live with it, feel with it, grow with it, you know, take life lessons from it, learn mm -hmm. how to be a better man. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So what do I think of it? Yeah, how did it make you a better man? How did it make me a better man? Yeah. Um, I learned. Mm -hmm. I learned something, mm -hmm. and you know they say if you learn something, then you're better than you were yesterday. There you go. Um, I learned one thing from this album. Yeah. One important thing. What did you learn? I learned there's something I really hate that mm -hmm. when I do it. What did you do? They've done it. It's happened once this year already, mm -hmm. and I didn't think anything of it. I sort of just overlooked it and said, okay, fine, I can get over it. Mm -hmm. um, artist, artist, artist. Any artist who is listening, please, 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 don't attach your documentary. To mm -hmm. that one, please don't do it. Listen, if you're gonna do it, post a documentary completely separate. Don't put it at the end of your album, especially on Apple Music, because yes, I'm super interested. When Thames, if you don't know, Thames dropped this project, short project, um, five songs. The sixth song on Apple Music, anyway, is um, Up Next Thames, and there's a beautiful breakdown into Thames has come up. Beautiful breakdown. Beautifully done, kind of work, amazing, phenomenal, beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And the first time I watched it, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, I didn't know this about Thames, I didn't know this, I didn't know. In fact, she um, graduated from one serious course, one very serious course. I was like, wow, I didn't know that she did that. Um, huh? That's your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, we don't have that, at least on Spotify, so I doubt 
that's that's the first time hearing this. Right, okay, okay. Because I really I um who was it? Who was it? Um and I love that album, Brockhampton. Brockhampton did it as well with um the Roadrunner and the Light or the Light and the Roadrunner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he said the album of the year because <laughs> it wasn't that pretty. No, <laughs> um <laughs> Man, this year's been long. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hate it when artists do that because I can enjoy it the first time, but now you sort of make you force me to listen to this every single time the album goes on, or you force me to actively remember that oh the album ends here, quickly skip so I can go back to the beginning so I don't need to hear what seven minutes of this documentary over and over and over again, however great it is. Um, outside of that, this was a fantastic project. Mm -hmm. This was a fantastic project. Mm -hmm. To start off a project with crazy things, speak on it. Thames knows what she's doing. She's good. <laughs> this girl is good. Like I'm, I'm so impressed. And that's the thing, because you said it, you said it just now, right? Um, for broken, for broken is. Yeah. I have one problem with that project, mm -hmm. and that is three minds on it. Mm -hmm. That's not to say three minds is a terrible song. That's to say that three minds is one of the best songs I've ever heard recorded. And in comparison to the rest of the project, mm -hmm. the rest of the project is really good, but it's not the, one of the best songs I've ever heard recorded. Okay. So now the rest of the project sounds mid compared, even though it's not mid. Mm -hmm. The rest of the project is really good. But all I want to do is listen to Free Mind because this is like magic to my ears. Mm -hmm. If Orange Was a Place doesn't have that same issue. Mm -hmm. um, every song I think is equally really, really good. Um, <laughs> she got my boy Brent Fight. <laughs> Brent Fight is on this album, man. Mm -hmm. The second you get Brent on the album, and you get Brent to sound like Brent mm -hmm. on well, no, sorry, not the album EP. Yeah, yeah, you got me, man. You got me. And to have Brent on this project, and Brent not to be the standout. No, the standout is still you. Yeah, yeah. We're talking real talent. We're talking superstar. We're talking superstar at this point. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion? Um, I love it man, I love it. Just don't put the documentary on it. If documentary is not on this project... Is there not an option, is there not like a separate version of it? Just with the songs? Like it, the, the only version on Apple Music is with the documentary added on? Honestly, not that I'm aware of. Um, I didn't do too much looking though, I'll be real. I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, but man, I'm a real, I'm a massive fan of this project. I'm a massive fan of this project. Yeah. Um, there's no songs on this project that I don't like. Now, obviously, it's a very short project. It's five ten. Five songs on this project, man, and I'll, I'll say that it makes it easier for there not to be misses. But it's also a big risk because all of a sudden, if there is a miss, but you don't need to worry about that because you just said there's no misses. Okay. If an artist drops a five song project okay. and one of them misses, okay. that is effectively 20% of your album that you're risking. Okay. This so is it's album, a risky it can't be an album if it's five songs though. EP, fine. 20% of your project that you're risking. Okay. The same with two packs. Okay. One of them misses is a big risk. Okay. So for her to take this risk and for it to work out is impressive to me. I don't think it's a risk because you're just dropping a song. It's an EP. It's the same way I would look at a mixtape. There's going to be songs that I like. I'm not looking at it to be every song needs to be perfect. Mm. Whereas an album, I feel like there needs to be quality control, which is why shorter albums work, because they're more quality control. But we come to the same conclusion about 10, because I don't mm. want to get bogged down into the short or long or 5 or 10 or 15 or 25. This is a great product. Mm. Sounds fucking phenomenal. Um, really hits a lot. Um, of emotion there, great project to vibe to, and just to let mm. live in the background while you have something to do for 18 minutes and 31 seconds, or I don't know how long the outro is. Take how long is that documentary outro? Seven minutes. Seven minutes? Mm -hmm. So you've got like a 50 minute project then, why are you angry? No, it's not about them. It's just calm down. Could you get ready to hear? Calm yeah. down, chill. I stay um, calm, man. No, it was, it was a really good project, really nice intro, crazy things. Really nice outro we vibe out. Um, I, I feel um, Brent came and did Brent things. Um, mm. I feel like Brent has done 
has had a phenomenal year <laughs> without dropping an album. Mm -hmm. um, the only bad, I don't think it's a bad song, I think the only done on his year is Wasting Time. Um, for Brent, do you know what I learned this year? What? And this tells you how much I don't care about the song. I didn't know the, um, what's the song, The Crew? Yeah. I didn't know that, that was Goldman. Did you not? No, I've never had the full song. I've just had the hook. <laughs> but I didn't know. I've only ever had the hook, and when I've had the hook, I know for I that's Brent. <laughs> but, see, I'm the opposite. I knew it was because I heard it on Goldlink's album before oh, I heard it anywhere okay. else. I didn't know, like, I think it was like two years into that song having been out, yeah. that I found out that it was Brent on the hook. Bro, literally this week. Because <laughs> like, I've had the hook a million times. Easy money on the family. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> like, I'm the man. I've never heard anything other than that. Right. So I've just always been like, oh, that's Brent. I wonder whose song that actually is. <laughs> and then this week, somehow, like, I was just playing on YouTube. I was like, that's God. <laughs> that's a good song. Fuck that nigga. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Brent sounds great. And as the only feature, um, again, when you only have one feature, it's easier to quality control to make sure that your features are dope. And obviously Brent came and did what Brent, like I said, has done all year, mm -hmm. barring wasting time, which just wasn't necessary for me. And then Thames as a whole, just carries on the momentum, mm. carries on the momentum. And, and sometimes as an, as an artist, that's really all you need to do is tap into the momentum that you have and just progress it. Like mm. there's really nothing more that she needed to do. She's got momentum world over. Like Essence is the highest selling Afrobeat song in US all time. Yeah. Um, like that, that is her. Do you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? She, she has that. Mm. Like you said, and I agree, Free Mind is um, as a song, as an aesthetic, as, as a, a body of work, phenomenal, mm. classic song, special, special qualities throughout it. From the fact that myself to my older brother, to my older sister, to my parents can hear that song mm. and feel something from it tells you all you need to know about that. Obviously, you mentioned what you said about For Broken Ears, but I think you can relate to the fact that so, how much so many people loved that project mm -hmm. and how great we felt that was for being one of the best projects of 2020. Shame you didn't hear it until after the two stuff in Nigeria mm -hmm. Awards, so maybe it would have been in there too. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, and I think just to have all of that, have all the social media positive um, attention that she gets. Mm -hmm world over throughout the past 12 months and then to say okay let me feed the streets shout out Roddy Rich um Roddy needs to start feeding the streets again yeah honestly I'm hungry when was the last time I am hungry I'm, I'm starving <laughs> I, I can eat <laughs> I mean I don't need it I'm, I can eat <laughs> like I, I won't die you but I'm saying I might die young I'm just yeah really great project man i really enjoyed it it's a, it's an enjoyable listen it's a great vibe and then when you get out of vibe mode and you actually get into listen mode too mm -hmm. there's there's a lot to take um from it it has though, and I will say, this is probably the benefit of doing reviews later than mm -hmm. when they first come out, out of rotation already. Yeah. Out of rotation already. Yeah. And, and to me, I know some, some people may go to, well, oh, is that the five songs thing? Not for me, because like I say, some of my favorite albums, which are still in rotation for years, mm -hmm. the short songs, um, I just, I don't necessarily know what it is about this one. Maybe it's just the wrong time of year. Maybe it's just, I, I, I literally don't know, but it is out of rotation already. Um, not to necessarily take away from how good it is, because mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean anything. A lot of albums are here today, and they're out of the rotation quickly, but every time you come back to them, you realise why you love them mm -hmm. in that initial week, two weeks, month. Um, but yeah, um, like to man. You know, pretty good. Because it's out of my rotation as well. Mm -hmm. Genuinely speaking, the only reason it's out of my rotation is because Neo came and dropped an entire album. Mm -hmm. um, and then shortly after that, Don Tolliver came and dropped an entire album. And if you want to hear my thoughts on Don Tolliver's album, then just go to our, the rest of our YouTube, if you're here on YouTube. Um, shout out you guys out. Subscribe, please, comment. Uh, and like the video if you're enjoying it. Um, shout out to Spotify too. It's around as well. 
Shout out you guys on Spotify. Love you guys, man. You guys are the best. Hey, there should be a poll at the bottom of this. Yeah. Go through that. Apple. Um, Apple Music, man. You guys have been here from day one. Love you guys. Hey, yeah. um, please. Hey, on Apple Music, star rating. I don't know you guys. Like, five stars. Leave, but five stars. Come on, man. Anchor. Um, Anchor, man. From day one, been here. Been this show's anchor for real. Ooh, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. I'm out here. I'm out here. Hey, we love you guys. Um, where else, man? Google Pods. Oh, Google Pods. Where would we be without Google Pods? Where would we be? be? Hey, listen. If anyone is listening to this, do you hear how we're advertising your product? For real. Like, hit me up. For real. <laughs> listen, we're ready. It's time. We're ready. <laughs> you see how I'm putting money into this? Come on, man. Come on, man. None of this is cheap. Good pods. Good pods. No, listen. Good pods. I tweeted it and I'm saying it here. Probably one one of the best podcasting platforms. Clean. What you guys are doing over there is special, man. Special. Um, almost as time. Almost, almost. Not quite as, Not but almost. almost. Um, listen, man. If you guys don't know what good pods is, should I be doing this? They're not paying me. No, hey, buddy, I don't care. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Um, man, go to good pods, man. It is it's a really, really dope platform, man. Um, if you listen to a lot of podcasts, especially dope, dope, dope pl- um, platform to listen to podcasts on. But yeah, so mm. all in all times, um, really solid projects, really enjoyed it. Mm. Um, or, uh, you, you have two um, big fans here, so definitely looking forward to what this light pack was in preparation for. Mm. Um, as obviously this is the appetizer before the main course come. Um, looking forward to it. Out of 10? Out of ten, we missed that because we could have been out of five. Yeah, five I songs. didn't want to do it because then it's just uh, do I like all five songs? Okay, five. Like mm, so <laughs> out of ten, challenge yourself. Out of ten, uh, I'd give it. Do, 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 do. Uh, What's that? What's that yeah, man. Because <laughs> it's really my DNA at this point. Yeah. I've been listening to him always. So I miss him a lot. Cool. Um, I'll give it a seven point five. Agreed. Yeah, seven right there with you. Seven, I think it's a it's a solid project. It's a nice little listen, mm. nice little vibe, um, and always something I'm happy to hear from Thames. Mm. I'm really looking forward to an album. Definitely, definitely. Mm. That's all she wrote. If you're watching on YouTube, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you're listening or watching anywhere else, where, wherever the platform says you should do, just do it. Like, no, no, honestly, really, like, is it that deep? Like, they all make it so it's clear. It's so clear. Like, the button is right there. Man, just press it. Man. What does it actually cost man. you for real? And the button is always a different color. It's always so a different color. Like, what does it cost you for real, for real? Mm. How much a dollar really costs? <laughs>